Ooh, look at that. Back then it was twenty thousand seven hundred nineteen dollars. Now it's twenty two thousand three hundred twenty four dollars. So you know, I'm gonna read through this, but mother truckers, I mean, what are your initial thoughts about this? Is this a money grab to make more money? Do you believe in this inflation that they have? That they say they have to raise these rates on truck drivers. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News, uh, where we just give you updates on everything trucking from FMCSA regulations, weather tr conditions, uh, traffic, uh, especially we weigh heavy on the trucking community to message us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. Uh, basically, if you have any information that's going to help truck drivers out, in real time, or if you have someone or a company that have wronged you in any way, shape, or form, uh, Month Trucker News is here for you, and we're just here for the trucking community. You know, either good or bad. You know, as long as the trucking community needs to know, we will let you know. So, you know, today, uh, speaking on that, uh, there is a a big one that you guys need to know about, and that big one is, you know, people called the Department of Transportation. And the FMCSA and money grab at times. And I can see why people might feel that way. But uh, just starting today, okay, uh, on January 6, 2023, the FMCSA published a final rule increasing the civil penalty amounts that may impose for violations of certain DOT regulations. So how are they able to increase these regulations? Well, they're able to do that because they have something called Civil Penalties Inflation Adjustment Act of 2015. Of course, they would put something in there, right? And basically what this act does is federal agencies must increase fines each year to account for inflation. So, yes, inflation happens. Things get more, uh, um, things get more expensive. Labor gets more expensive. Training gets more expensive. And because of that, these fines have to get more expensive in the eyes of the DOT and FMCSA. And they made a act in 2015 that allows them to adjust this. So they just came out with it today. So I want to share this screen right here to just present to you guys actually what the fines have changed to. So if you could read right here. You're going to see this is 2023, all right, 2023 fines. So right here, let me highlight this bad boy, 2023 FMCSA fines. Let's go through this. A failure to respond to an agency subpoena to appear and testify or produce records minimum. You know, formal penalty value, that was $1,195. Now... 1,288. Okay, next one. Failure to respond to agency subpoena to appear and testify or produce records maximum is was $11,956. Now, because of this inflation, they're going to charge truck drivers $12,882. Okay, so here's a big one right here. Out of service order operation of CMV by driver. Okay, sometimes something's happened. You get put out of service. Back then, $2,072. Right now, $2,232. So it has raised up over 200 bucks if you get put out of service. Um, out of service order requiring or permitting operation of a CMV by driver. Woo, look at that. Back then, it was $20,719. Now, it's $22,324. So, you know, I'm going to read through this, but mother truckers, I mean, what are your initial thoughts about this? Is this a money grab to make more money? Do you believe in this inflation that they have, that they say they have to raise these rates on truck drivers? Okay. Out of service order operation by driver of CMV or intermodal equipment that was placed out of service. All right. Old was $2,072. Now it's $2,232. Um, yeah, we could go through all these, but I'm going to send you guys the link to this so that you guys could see it. But basically look last year's rates versus this year, you know, extra 2000 bucks, some or an extra a hundred bucks. Some right here, it looks like extra, almost $3,000 out of service order failure to seize operations as ordered. And so as you're walking through all this, man, 
they are charging more money for everything. You know, um, I'll put this list down below for you guys so you guys can see this. Uh, violation of hazardous materials regulations and safety permitting regulations training maximum penalty. Back then, $89,678. Now, $96,624. So they are hoping to make a lot more money off of fines from truck drivers all across America. I already know how we feel about this, but I'm just showing you guys all of this so that you know that it has been increased, and that's what that is. Um, mother truckers, comment down below. Let me know your true thoughts about this. You know, I don't know. You know, yesterday we were talking about uh, them trying to make it a little bit harder for brokers to get into the game, and I thought that was a good step in the right direction. Some people thought that it was a way to destroy small businesses, but – it, it, it seemed like something that made sense. Uh, this right here with inflation and everything like that, you know, does this make sense to you? Yes or no? I mean, of course, we're not happy about this because, I mean, they're raising the rates on all truck drivers for any fines. So, um, mother truckers, just letting you guys know what it is and so that you guys can go through your day and just know that this is what uh, they're doing and what they're charging and that, you are up to speed. Uh, Mother Truckers, comment down below. I appreciate you guys so much. I thank you. Then again, Mother Trucker News uh, at gmail.com. I appreciate you guys. And hey, you know, we've been putting this on podcast form as well. So Spotify and all these other good places. A lot of times people say, Alex, you know, um, I'm driving on the road and I don't want really want to watch the videos. And even when I try to listen to it, it's too tempting to watch. Well, that's why we made a podcast form and i'll be sure to update that on the regular and a final note to everything you know you know i appreciate you guys so much i thank you guys you know um i'm doing my best to just share information in real time to help you guys out but you guys have helped me so much and in my personal life and i appreciate you guys um you know as you guys know i'm co-owner of big rig tees and it's just been incredible and yeah we're in 200 truck stops across america so thank you just for all of that support you know i i can't tell you enough but i love you guys i appreciate you guys thank you and thank you for supporting everything we do and hopefully this information uh, can help you out and share it to others so that they when they get a fine of some sort they're not surprised that it has gone up you know mother truckers comment down below